Hello, so today we're going to be talking about your kipping toaster bar. Okay, now regardless of where you're at with these, um, whether you've been doing them for a little while or whether you're just getting to grips with them, it's always well, it's a movement that's always well worth spending a little bit of time refining just because there's a lot that can be gained from working on your efficiency. Okay, so obviously when you're starting to look at first getting to grips with toaster bar, um, when people kind of struggle at the beginning, even if they have the strength to get their feet up to the bar, a lot of the time that struggle is more with stringing the reps together as opposed to doing one-off reps, okay? Um, particularly when they go from between that first and second rep, okay? That's always the hardest transition. And a lot of that is down to the way people think about the movement, especially when you're trying to pick up the skill, okay? So obviously the easy thing to think about is just getting your toes to the bar, hence the name, okay? So what that can lead to um, is a lot of people, they just think about just lifting their legs up, okay? Which means they get their toes up to the bar, but they end up with almost a horizontal torso, okay? Which means when they come back down, they have a lot of momentum, which leads them into a big swing, okay? A little bit like this. And now obviously the problem there is you're carrying a lot of momentum on the way back down, which you can't control. So then it means when you go for that second rep, it's a lot tougher, okay? So what we wanna think about more is that, a little bit like what we've mentioned in the past, okay, is that combination in your kip between it not just being a hip-driven movement, but also making sure you engage your lats, okay? So by engaging your lats, A, that's gonna help you push down onto the bar, which is gonna make your torso stay a little bit more vertical, okay? Which means as you come down, you're gonna have more control over your lower body and you're less likely to be pulled forward and out of rhythm, okay? But it's also gonna help you lift your legs because as opposed to just trying to lift your legs, you're also gonna be pushing down on the bar, which means when we get to the point where you're doing high rep toes to bar, okay? It's just gonna make you a little bit more efficient because you're not gonna be driving the movement with your hip flexors. You're also gonna be using your, your, your lats as well, okay? Which obviously means you're gonna be moving more efficiently because it's not just one muscle group that's doing all the work, okay? So the easiest way to get to grips with this obviously is with practice, okay? So the first thing to start off with is just starting off with a small kip and just working on that movement, okay? So obviously starting off with a swing, but consciously thinking about pushing down into the bar with your lats as, you, as your feet come forwards, okay? So you get that simultaneous engagement through your core and through your lats, okay? So that's gonna look like this. Now obviously there, that's with a small kind of leg lift, okay? But as you get more comfortable with the movement and you can start to increase that range of motion, okay? The main thing is keeping it under control, okay? Obviously, like I said before, a lot of the time, the hardest part is stringing together those first two reps because it's easy to lose the rhythm of your kit because you have a lot of momentum coming down from the top, okay? We're starting small and just gradually building up your range of motion, okay? It's gonna teach you a lot more control over the movement and gradually over time, you'll find that you can perform movement with bigger and bigger ranges of motion until you have full control over a full toaster bar.